What's up you guys? It's the Donna. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to tell you guys first and foremost that I am going to be making videos every Sunday and Tuesday. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe so you can know exactly when I come out with a new video. But I had this question asked by one of you all. It's from Michelle Marmalejo. It says, can I become a PA with a BS in communication sciences and disorders? So um, I'm going to be answering that question for you right now. Doing my dance, hey. I'm doing my dance, don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. What's up, you guys? Look, it's the Donald Welcome back to my dance. channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So I had this question asked to me. It was asked by Michelle Marmalejo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It says, Can I become a PA with a BS in communication science and disorders? Now, I mean that is a question that I'm not specifically like, can I become a PA with a, ba a bachelor's of science in communication and like science disorders? That question is not specifically what is asked to me all the time, but the, can I become a PA with this major or that major or that major or that major? That question is asked to me all the time. And so far the answer has not changed you guys. The answer is yes. Okay. So the PA profession, the PA school, PA program, programs are very unique in that you do not have to be on a specific major or a specific track to get into PA school. You can be a fine arts major, you can be a communications major, you can be a music major, you can be um, maybe like a chef, I don't know. Whatever it is that you have decided that you are passionate about, that you really are interested in learning about, um, if you really like the mind and you wanna do be a psychology major because you think that you wanna be a psych PA, do that, whatever it is, you can do it because ultimately what it is going to do is just make you a more well-rounded PA and you're gonna be able to meld those two passions together. Here's where it becomes a little bit tricky, okay? So yes, you can get into PA school with whatever major you, your heart chooses to, to major in. However, you have to meet the prerequisite requirements. So. The reason why the majority of people choose your natural sciences, like your chemistries and your biologies, um, or your biochemistry or your biostatistics, and choose those majors in their undergraduate degree to get into PA school is because it already integrates the majority of the prerequisite coursework that is required for PA school. So for instance, myself, I was initially a biology major and then I switched to biological sciences or bio, no, I switched to biomedical sciences because I just thought it sounded fancier than biology and I only had to take one extra course. But with that being said, all of my classes were sciences. You know, I had biology, general biology, general chemistry. In my first year of undergrad, um, I had organic chemistry in my second year. And so a lot of the prerequisites that PE schools required were already built in to my degree. So for PA school, you're typically going to need your general biology, one and two, your general chemistry, one and two. You're going to need organic chemistry. Some schools require biochemistry. They will require an upper level science, um, so like a biology, an upper level biology, like your cellular and molecular biology or microbiology. Um, typically, they require anatomy and physiology. Some schools will require medical terminology. You will have to do a statistics, a psychology. Some will also require an upper level psychology, like an abnormal or developmental psychology. Um, and then there are some other little nuances in there. And the tricky part about that is that not every PA program is created equally, right? So across the board, it's not standardized. Not every school that you look at is gonna require the same prerequisite requirements. And that's why you have to do your research. You guys hear me doing, saying that a lot. That is my favorite phase, do your research. Um, but you're going to have to do that because ultimately you're going to have to look at these programs and see, all right, if I meet the requirements for three out of the five schools that I'm interested in, and I'm going to have to take like an extra semester to meet the requirements of the other two or an, an extra year to meet the requirements of the other two, is that worth it? Um, and you're going to have to decide that. Is that worth it to you? If it is, then do it because you're making yourself a broader candidate. If it's not, then don't do it and look for other schools that you already meet the requirements for. But when it comes to the best 
best major for PA school or if your major will get you into PA school, there's no end all be all major that will automatically get you into PA school, okay? I want you guys to hear me say this again. There is no perfect, right, end all be all major for PA school. What gets you into PA school is you, your personality. You do have to have a bachelor's degree to be eligible to apply to PA school. Now there is a little nuance to that because there are direct entry PA programs where you can get in straight from high school into these programs that you will do a bio, you're like your bio, um, your biology degree or your chemistry undergraduate degree in you know three years and then you will go directly into the PA program within the last two years of your direct entry program. So there is that option. But for the most part, the majority of programs are master's programs and they require you to have already obtained a bachelor's degree. So that is the only like main thing that is required initially to be eligible. It doesn't matter what you major in. So yes, you know, you can get in with whatever the major it is with uh, a, ma a bachelor's of science in communication science and disorders. You can absolutely do that, Michelle, but you also have to make sure that you are meeting the requirements. And that means looking to see what are the prerequisite courses. And then on top of that, what are the hours that they're asking for in terms of direct patient hours? What are the healthcare experience hours that they may be asking for? What are the shadowing hours that they're asking for? You know, are they asking for volunteer hours? These are the things that you are, where it comes down to like being very picky and the nitty gritty of getting into PA school, okay? So please, 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 if you take nothing else away from this, take away that absolutely do what you are passionate about doing, whatever that may be, major in that. If it is music, you love to sing, you have a beautiful voice, um, you know, do that. Maybe you can provide some music therapy to your patients once you become a PA. Who knows, but whatever it is that you are passionate about doing, do that because you can meld it beautifully with your career as a PA and it will make you an overall more well-rounded person, okay? So absolutely do that. Um, just make sure that you are looking at the programs and doing your research to know and ensure that you meet all of the requirements, okay? All right, thank you so much for asking me this question. Please, you guys, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Metadon of the PA, so you can know exactly when I'm putting out a new video and all of that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys next time.